Love Them Knives channel, LTK here, knife testing. What do we got? We got knives and we got test results for you right now. Okay, boys, we got some different brands here. We're getting maybe a little redundant on the Tucson knives, but I just had to send that one in. I was just going to taunt Kurt, our testing guy, because he loves Tucson knives. So I always make sure I throw one in the batch. But this one is a D2 blade, not a M390. But I'm, I've sent a couple of M390s in for testing. In for testing. So that's interesting. This is, of course, made by Stedman which is Voking Knives, M390. So I wanted to test it because I, I remember seeing something on the Thunder Fury, which is also a Stedman M390. And it was like, oh, it corroded. Oh, there's something wrong with this knife. I'll tell you what's wrong with it. It's got carbon in it. Yeah, even M390 does, and it can rust or corrode, whatever. So <laughs> as is the Artisan Cutlery, Virginia donated for this session by Bob Bonet, Bonet Photography, whatever. He sent me some pics. He's a great photographer, but he sucks at uh, sharpening knives. This is not his work. This is Kevin Lewis. Kevin Lewis Jr. of Bevel Knife Sharpening. I put his link in all my videos, and uh, he straightened it out. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it was Bob's. I don't know what went on and we don't know what went on, but it was all, he, you know, I think Bob tried to reprofile this blade, uh, to a different angle because to make it a better slicer, which this one being this thick a stock and then being not very tall, you know, that kind of thing to try and improve it. But he got a lot of chips in the blade didn't know he's using a Lansky system. Of course, Kevin uses Wicked Wicked Edge, and uh, I sent it up for testing to Kurt first, and then Kurt sent it to Kevin, and uh, then back to me. So this baby's been on the world tour. And last but not least, we got the Spider Co. Endura Zone Desert Camo. So uh, that's VG10. So I just sent that in just for shits and giggles. I mean, hell. I'm not doubting it's VG10. I just wanted to see what the HRC was. And, oh, we had one other knife we sent in, but Mr. Dumas here behind the camera. Oh, dumbass. No, Dumas. <laughs> I've been renamed. I had... Hey, you're going to love this. I, ha I bought this because uh, Web and Knives is his is a username on Instagram, but he's he lives in France, and he sent me a link to this going, oh, this is so cool. M390, Fat Dragon, carbon fiber, all this kind of stuff. And he goes, you, you need to check it out. I ordered one, 145 bucks, waited two, three weeks, whatever, got it in, and then sent it in for testing. And here's a picture of it disassembled. And multi-row ceramic bearings. This thing was like, this will not test. Not for 145 bucks. I know it's real carbon fiber and all that. This is titanium, all that. But no, this is no, there's no way. Okay. So thank God I got a picture of the damn thing. Oh my God. So it's not in here. But let's talk about it first. And there's only like one or two left on all of DH Gate to order. Which, I, you know, if I had three nickels to rub together, I think I'd get one. Because they were so cool. And the Fat Dragon, the M390 is real. I mean, it's real. And the HRC is 60.3. And there's your elemental printout. Wow. How crazy, huh? I didn't think it was going to test. But it did. So, go figure on that one, huh? How about the Spyderco Endura? VG10. Is it real VG10? Of course it is, yeah. And that wasn't the question. The question was more like HRC. So HRC was 
This one tested actually lower HRC than the rest of the knives in our batch. Although I think this was the only VG10 blade in our batch. So in any case, here's your elemental breakdown. Obviously no titanium scales to test here or anything, but it's good stuff, Maynard. Um, next, let's talk about, uh, well, I guess we could talk about the Virginia, which is misspelled on the Artisan site. And so Bob was uh, hassling Russell over at Artisan about that. And Russell can't go in and change it. They've got some kind of webmaster guru that's supposed to, and he never did. So it's more like Vir Virginia, not Virginia. So, um, yes, he has been having a uh, really ribbing... Russell, when he called Russell about this because the blade got all chipped up, or the edge did when he tried to sharpen it, I don't know if he put too much pressure on it or what he was doing with the stones, but he's got a Lansky system, and then he goes to ceramic and whatever to finish it off. So I don't know. I put it on my KME and took some of it out and then said to hell with it. I'm going to send it in for testing to Kurt and then have him send it to Kevin to really, you know, put the edge on this. Besides, Bob was kind enough to send the M390 uh, Artisan knife in for, and this is not the box it comes in, I don't think. I mean, I know this, this box is not for this knife. I just put it down here so Artisan have their name in here, but uh, so you'd understand the brand here that's here. But no, he just sent me the knife. And I'm going to send it back to him. It has been a long dredge. I mean, this is batch three, which we've done batch one, two, and four. And we skipped three because we've kind of been waiting for all the knives to come back together. So, yeah. But, man, you think? I think that edge worked out okay. I don't know. Kevin didn't have any problems with it. So, he sharpened it up. It's good as gold. Now, next. And, oh. You want to know? Yes, it's real. And the HRC was 60. So here's your printout. Once again, I will put a link into how the PMI gun, we call it, or the XRF analyzer works. And there you go, elemental breakdown. Of course, it's tested against several other M390 steels that uh, Kurt has tested before, which are like the Spyderco M390 Sprint Run and some other M390 knives. So, yeah, it matches right up, and it's true to form. Next, let's talk about the Stedman Boking that seemed like people were running around with their hair on fire uh, when the Thunder Fury had some... Uh, some some stuff on the blade after being put into a corrosive for like a week or so whatever um and here it is the voking m390 t01 got the little hrc divot on it titanium m390 yes no what well yes it's real m390 and the HRC is 59.4, which ain't too shabby. And here you go. When it says no match, of course, I'm reiterating every batch. The software in this particular analyzer is not set up for S35, M390, CTS. You know, it's set up for tool steels that are used in the, in the oil field fabrication business stuff. So... There may be some A1 or A2. There may be some other tool steels loaded into that software suite. But no, they didn't pay to have software loaded in there that they never would use. And now, of course, we would love that to be there. But And here's your printout. So, yes, it's the real deal. So I'm saying if Stedman is using M390 when it makes the Voking knives... Yeah, it's probably sitting in their rack when they're making the Thunder Fury and the other knives that are a lot more expensive than that. So, oh, and the titanium scales on that knife. 
Yes, what does it say? It says TI-64, so it's grade 5 titanium. It's the real deal, Holyfield. So there you go. There's your printout on that. Even when I'm quick running through these things, it still seems to take time to do this. In any case, and by the way, there will be a slideshow after this. And I'm going to show you the actual HRC testing. And if he has pictures, I'm, I can't remember right now. It's got it on my on my tablet. But there'd be pictures of uh, the actual analyzer gun pointing at the blade and or the scales. Whatever that's appropriate. Tucson. The TS-81. A Wong design. And I'll tell you what. That is a pretty knife right there. I don't say I don't care what you say right there. And that's bone inserts, but I'll tell you what. Uh man, I could just see doing so many things on this knife. The action is hold on, get over the detail. Is unbelievably wonderful, smooth, D2, titanium, bone inserts on the scales, ceramic ball on the pocket clip. Man, that's just purdy as purdy gets. I, I like it. I like his designs. His designs are reminiscent of this. There's a new TS-107 that's out. It's all titanium. There's no inserts or anything. But it resembles this design to a degree. And it's, it's one I'm going to have to grab up and review. But this one, sweet. Yeah, I like it. And how did it test out with the D2? It tested out as real D2, apparently, and the HRC was 60.6. Wow. Okay. So they're cooking it just long enough, aren't they? And there's your elemental printout. So what do we got to say here? Well, one more thing before we go to the slideshow, and that is the titanium scales on that Tucson knife. TI-64, and yes, it is. And there's your elemental readout there. So you're, are you just thankful right now that I'm not dragging you into a 45-minute deal over, you know, six lousy knives, one that's invisible, like the Fat Dragon? Death, dead silence is what I call it. The Fat Dragon, dead silence. And they make that in a G10, by the way. So... Watch out for that. Oh, and Ganzo has just released the FH-21 that looks like the Fat Dragon. Swear to God, check it out. It'll be um, probably the like the 30th of December or the first part of January, and Power Cutlery will have them in stock. Blue, green, black, really good looking with D2 blades. So check that out when they come. Hopefully I'll have one in hand in a couple weeks. All right. On to the slideshow. Right. Slideshow. I promised you a slideshow. By God, you're going to get one. You can see that this is that Spyderco Zome. And so there it is being tested for the blade steel. Next. There it's being tested on the HRC, which was a 57... Point nine, not quite to the 58 not quite there next of course the virginia artisan and right on the 60 for that rockwell test here's the fat dragon over 60 right so that's that's nice it was 60.3 Good looking knife too. Why did I ever sell that off? The guy that bought it from me is like, I don't even understand why you're selling it. <sighs> okay. And here's the TS-81, the Wong design that's being tested for uh, D2. So there you go. And the elements there. And also now on the HRC scale. And it's... Uh, it's over 60, right? It's at 60.6. And then, uh, oh yeah, testing the scales on the TS-81. TI-64. 
as he's doing that scan. And here's the uh, Voking by Stedman. Okay, so that was a 59.4. And I think that's all we got, folks, right there. Don't have the gun showing the titanium scale test, but uh, this was one of the early batches. This was batch number three. And you know what? Hey, I think we're getting our money's worth in any case. Thank you so much. Appreciate you guys. It's a crazy, crazy uh, bunch of knives. Uh, interesting, a lot of different brands. I'm really enjoying the discovery of, you know, what's going on here? What, what are these materials? And what's the HRC? Because really, that's a big deal is <sighs> figuring out what the what the hardness is, what the heat treat is on these, but all these tested fine. I don't know what the actual heat treat should be, the number should be on the VG10, but I think we had that other batch where we did the Nemesis knives and some other in VG10, and those HRCs were not that high either, so I think probably that's appropriate for this steel. And then, of course, the Virginia and M390 and the Voking by Stedman. So, hey, it's looking pretty good. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope it didn't take too much of your time. We've got more batches of knives uh, coming at you in testing. So we're going to keep doing it. American brands, Chinese brands, whatever. We're going to look. Take care, my friends. Hope you have a great day, because you know what we do around here. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.